Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this scene of a cowboy with a pack horse and back to basics. And one, Corel just doesn't trace text very good. And it didn't do a very good job on the animals either. This is a really low quality picture. But he wanted the background of the of the mountains. And then I so I emailed him back and he said, uh, you know, if we could pick another horse and rider and pack animal and mountain range, and he's good with that. So I just went on the internet and I picked, you know, mountain clip art, mule pack clip art. And when you do that, uh, you know, come up with images. And if you go right here to tools and um, turn it on and then go like to large and you go to black and white, you'll get some really good files that are, you know, um, really large in size, like this pack animal. Um, you know, just, you know, type in um, large or medium and it'll, it'll take out the ones that are too little. That, that are fuzzy and uh, everything and uh, and then go black and white. And you can actually sometimes type in silhouette and then you'll get rid of a lot we want. Cause in laser engraving, we want it like a silhouette. So I thought I'd just kind of go by step by step. All three of these were extremely easy to do. I'm just going to go to a trace bitmap, outline trace clip art and it did it that quick and look at the mountain range. Now, we'll bring in a yellow box trick, make it yellow, go up to object, order, back a page, and you can see there's no white in there. <clears throat> now, I took out some of the mountain range to make it not as big, but that's, it's really easy to do. Left click, right click, get your outline. And let's say we don't want this part of the mountain range. First of all, I'm gonna turn it into a hairline and you can get rid of some of this garbage, but you have to go to object and break the curve apart. And a lot of times you have to, you have to reselect the object, object, group and ungroup. And then you probably have to go here and maybe that would work. Didn't you have to break object apart, but then you can get rid of these. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to take away the yellow box sometimes that would interfere. And these are gonna be a little bit different colors. I'm not gonna use the grass, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'm not too interested. Well, let's just get rid of the grass. And what I'm gonna do is just use this part of the mountain range. So I wanna cut this off. So the best way to do it, let's zoom in here get your two point line and just go from there to there. You don't have to, but right now you can cut all that away because we're going to smart fill this. So you want your nudge factor as big as this is. So it's 2.46. So we got it set on three. So I'm going to smart fill that and move it over. Smart fill that and move it over that over that over that over and that over. And what that did that made it all one piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and group that together, control G. Now we're gonna take the cowboy and you can see it's a bitmap. I am going to go ahead and put it in a yellow box just so we can see what's going on. Order back a page. And the white box means it's a, bit, a bounding box or a bitmap. Trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. Does it really good? Say okay. Uh, nine times out of ten, your your new copy is on top. Then go up to object and group and ungroup it, and then you can move all your black away and your white stays. So now we have the cowboy. So now we're going to do the the pack mule, <clears throat> and you can make this. And I think in the original picture, it looks like it looks more like a pack horse. And you could do the exact same thing with a mule by making his ears smaller. 
And we're going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, same exact thing. Say OK. Move it over. And you can see we have some watermarks in there. Um, that's not going to affect us. We can go to object, order, backup page. Well, I might not have been. In, I need to go to and ungroup it. Sorry. And then we get rid of that white. Now, if we left click, right click, we have an outline. If we click on this, now we can go to object and break the curve apart. And what that did, it allowed us to um, get rid of that text. Also need to turn it into a hairline, just a little, because uh, it'll make it look a lot better when we clean it up. Now I'm going to come from the bottom of the page and grab that text and delete it. We can look at a strap right here. That's okay. We're going to, we're going to utilize that. And now we're going to take the cowboy and we're going to left click, no feel, right click outline, make it a hairline. And then kind of put the pack at them where you really want it. You could make it smaller. And what I said earlier about the ears, you know, that's personal preference. But now let's, let's draw a rope between the two. And we're going to take the three-point curve line. We're going to go from his, like the bottom of his halter to like mid-horse and just come through there. We're going to make it a little bit thicker by going one point. Then I'm going to go to that rope and turn it into an outline. I can left-click, right-click, and now I get an outline of a rope. And then we can move it around. I'm going to take the nodes and move them more into his uh, face of the horse. And we're good to go on that. We'll take the uh, Virgil segment delete key. Because when you're working with more than multiple items, um, I'm going to delete that and delete that. It's a lot easier just to delete lines and trying to weld. But now we can take the smart fill tool and fill it in and look at that. We have a rope on our cowboy. And it did another thing is it, it grouped the cowboy and the pack mule together. Now this is all grouped together. Let me get rid of our outline here for a second. I'm going to make this a light gray and take away the outline. But we want a little separation from the horse and the mountains. So this is what I'm going to do. That would actually work and really work quite well because it's on the back of the, you know, on, the, on this one, I actually made a little separation uh, between the, the cowboy and the, and the mountain, which I'm going to do. But in this case, you probably don't even have to do this. So this is where you, you'd want to uh, nudge and not move anything more. Let's kind of move that mountain around. <clears throat> but let's take our horse and nudge it out of the way for a second, twice. I'm gonna left click, right click, and I'm gonna to go to effects and contour, contour the outside, 0 0.01. It just gave us a little bitty contour. Now I'm gonna take it and break the contour apart. I'm gonna take the center contour and move it over and down and turn it black. But I'm going to also turn this black. But then I'm going to put it in our scene. And I'm going to either go back minus front or front minus back. I'm going to try front minus back. Nope, it was just the opposite. And what that did, and now we bring our other cowboy in. We have a little bit of a separation in the engraving between the mountains and the horse. We, we left a boundary that might or might not be need or needed or cool. Now let's add that text. And I purposely didn't add any grass. I'm going to control G to group that together. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page, which really doesn't matter. I've already typed out the text. Matter of fact, let's move that here. Well, you know what? It would be better in the center of the page. Let's move all this other stuff out of the way. Because we want our text to path to be in the center. So now I'm going to draw an oval, not holding down the control button. And then I'm going to hit P. And then I'm going to 
nudge that down just a little bit, but if you notice it's in the center of the page, I'm holding down the control button. Now I'm gonna bring in our text and you can match that text. Uh, I didn't take any time. I just picked a, a text. We'll go with that right there. Well, that's kind of like an aerial. Um, but I bet you, you could really get to that text. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Go text, text the path, put it on that path. Then select it all and go up to object and break the three objects apart and get rid of your path line. And there you have that same scene, maybe a little bit too big on the text, but that would engrave really good. You don't even have to do anything special because the mountain is gonna engrave lighter because it's a, a gray. That's pretty cool, pretty cool design and a lot less time than trying to clean this up and a lot sharper image. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.